boys' new bedding came in this morning. So, did you guys like show you when I got it in? This is the comforter that I went with. Ow! Like my elbow. <laughs> and it's from Party Barn Kids. It's on sale, so we got a good deal on it. And I feel like it's something that can like grow with them. So we can like switch out the sheets as their like likes and interests change and they get older and stuff. But we can keep this comforter the same for quite a while, I think. Because I kind of messed up. <laughs> I got the boys all Spider-Man bedding, like comforter, quilt, sheets, pillowcases, everything. And then, like, they still like Spider-Man, but you know, they kind of like throw out of things. So, I think this will do good. And then when they're like, oh, I want this kind of bedding next, I can just switch the sheets instead of like, you know. I am gonna wash these, but I just wanna get them on the bed just so I can see what they look like. I'll show you guys, and then I'll toss them in the wash real quick. Oh my god, I love it. It's so cute. That's perfect. Okay, I didn't make it the best, but it's fine because I'm gonna take it off right now anyway. But I think that's perfect. And then Sutton has the same one for up here. So it'll coordinate with the comforter, but then the sheets, they have their own little splash of their personalities. So, so cute. I wish I could show you better. Wow. <sighs> Putting sheets, comforters on a bunk bed is not for the weak. Ooh, I'm out of breath. But anyways, this is how this one's going a lot, uh, around. All the older boys slept in here last night, so it was a mess. I cleaned it up this morning. Usually I make, make them clean it up, but I was in a rush to do this, so I cleaned it up this morning. But everything's good in here now. I just want to fix up this wall because when, when I took off the like Spider-Man stuff, uh, it kind of left this, but easily fixed with some paint. I just need to pull it out of the garage because I do have this paint. And yeah, it's looking good. Today is one of our busiest days of the week. The kids have piano and tennis today, if the weather permits, and it's been raining like ridiculously the past few days. Like we got like an inch of rain in under an hour the other night and like, you guys saw actually i think i think we recorded the storm i just can't remember if we put it in a vlog or not <laughs> but yeah so we got a lot of rain hopefully if it does not rain tonight because usually it starts raining around like four or five and that's and then it doesn't stop till like the end of the day and you can't play tennis really we don't do tennis lessons till later because it's so hot so hopefully if it doesn't rain they still have that but either way they at least have piano they were practicing yesterday and it was so cute. I freaking, I wish I recorded it. They were playing Yankee Doodle and um, Old McDonald had a farm. So it was adorable. But I just refilled some of my favorite vitamins. You guys know I have talked to you guys about these before. This is Ritual Symbiotic. It's their prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic all in one. So it makes life like a thousand times easier. I also restocked on the stress relief because those are good too. I also take their daily vitamin as well. I feel like as you get older, the amount of vitamins that you take just starts increasing. I literally have like a whole pouch. It's in my tennis bag, but I'd show you a little case thing full. I highly recommend taking a symbiotic. I take it every morning and you don't have to take it with food. This one you don't have to, so that's why I really like this. Anything that makes life simpler. Another thing I really love about it, it has two of the most clinically studied probiotic strains. Quality is way more important than quantity when it comes to a probiotic, so I love it. I've been taking it for so long now. You guys have heard me talk your ears off about it, but I truly, truly recommend it. Factors like stress can throw off your gut balance. I also really love to take it when traveling because I just get, like, you know, constipated all the things when I travel. <laughs> So I make sure that I do not forget that. It's easy to travel with too because it's not like, it's self-sufficient. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator basically is what I'm saying. Cause I have done the ones like, like the drinkable ones, but then you, they have to be refrigerated and it's just a whole nother step. <laughs> Ritual Symbiotic Plus is one of the first gut supplements that I've taken that I've seen like a huge difference in. Like for me personally, I can tell I'm less bloated throughout the day. I feel more comfortable throughout the day and I'm not just like my stomach is easily upset and this helps a lot. I can tell when I forget to take it. And you'll get 20% off with my code. So make sure to head to ritual.com. You can use my code kkbabyj 20 and you'll get 20% off. I'll also leave the link in the description for you guys. Also, all of their supplements are great.
great. I use their prenatal and their postnatal after having most of my babies. When I first heard about it, I never went back. So make sure to check them out if you're pregnant as well. They have a great postnatal and prenatal. So make sure to check that out and you'll get 20% off with my code. I try to keep days like today's kind of open-ended on like my schedule wise because the kids do have a lot going on with uh, extracurriculars and all of that. But Kwa lately has just been had to been having to be at the restaurant every day, so that's where he is right now. It's been years, if you guys have been following us, that we have been blessed enough to work from home, me and Kwa. So it's just strange now that he's gone a lot of the time, you know, so I posted this on my Instagram story, but me and Kwa started this new date night. It's not really a date night, but I mean, I like look forward to it all day because I haven't, we don't see each other for a lot of the day. Like he'll pop in and out, but there's not much time to like catch up and talk and stuff. So at night now we've been having like a glass of wine while we watch the sunsets. The babies go down at 7.30. So the sunsets here at 8.30. So we put the babies down. We shower, do whatever, refresh, and then we call pours me a glass of wine and he's like, let's go. We go outside and we watch um, the sunset go down and we just talk about our day, things that have been happening, cute things the kids did that Kwa missed or exciting things at the restaurant that's happening that I missed, you know? So it's also like hard to have these conversations at dinner because we do have so many kids. We're really focused on them and talking to them because especially if we're trying to have like a good family dinner. We want to keep them entertained and not just like trying to finish up real quick and leave. So we, we ask them questions, we talk about their day, what they're excited about for school. We talked about what kind of backpacks they want today and all of that. And I'm going to start getting all that stuff soon. But yeah, the days are getting weird with Kwa not here. It's crazy and it's only it's only gonna get weirder as we get the restaurant up and running because our time is going to be a lot more scarce so even mine because I know I'm gonna do a lot of I'm gonna do all of the um, social media marketing for Nave and Noel's ice cream so once it's open and I'm like out there creating content and marketing and all of that it's gonna be like a whole nother full-time job for me so I'm trying to enjoy these days at home with the kids as much as I can. And luckily the restaurant won't be open all day. It's more like a dinner thing. So, and that'll be Kwa's main focus. So, I mean, we'll still have a lot of time together, but it is just odd. I was thinking about this other day, so I thought I'd share because I want to remember these feelings also of like just the way things are like moving along, it's crazy. I don't have enough hands, but I just got the babies in bed. I'm gonna come back for the monitor. The boys are out here in the pool and they just had lunch and I'm just now having my breakfast. Mom, yeah? Can you the it's too hot for the hot tub to be on. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm just now sitting down to have my breakfast. I went to make avocado toast and all the avocados were bad. I literally had six of them and they all went bad already, which is crazy. So I cut up tomato and I got bacon because that's usually like what I put on my avocado toast. And then it, it was bad. I just put some butter on the toast and made eggs and it became this instead, <laughs> which I'm okay with. But it's a beautiful day. All the older boys just hopped in the pool. So I decided breakfast outside is the mood so we're just gonna i'm gonna put on a little music it's not on right now because copyright but we're just gonna enjoy it on morning outside pause busy working and both babies are asleep i wasn't sure if hansen was gonna take a nap today because he did not wake up until 9 30 but i think it's because he hasn't been sleeping well his molars are growing in and he was sick as i was explaining to you guys we were all sick for a little bit but anyways we're enjoying the beautiful day out here I almost forgot the kids have 
piano lessons right now. So we're going to shower real quick and get them ready for that. And then the babies will wake up and hopefully it doesn't rain tonight for tennis. Get towels. We're going to shower in mommy's bathroom so that we don't wake up the babies, okay? All right, got it? Actually, we can go this way. We'll go in uh, mommy's room. Door. Also, I devoured my food. <laughs> oh my goodness. Freezing in here. Everyone always wonders why the kids are in long pajamas during the summer. And it's because I keep my house on like 70 degrees. So it's like an ice box when you come inside and then it's definitely hot outside. So <laughs> that is why. And I'm always in sweaters too because I would rather be cold than hot. What about you? Would you rather be hot or cold? Too hot or too cold? Well, obviously, everyone wants to be in the middle, but if you had to either be too hot all the time or cold all the time, which one? Be too cold all the time. Me too, because then I can just put a sweater on and a, and a blankie, right? What do I like being cold? I love, I, I don't like being cold, but I like... Dude, I like both. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you want to be cold and sometimes you want to be hot. Yeah, you're right. Makes Where's sense. the elf? He's the last time cow. I seen him, whenever it wasn't in Christmas, wasn't there. Because I didn't Can we have a party? Again. A party? On um, March 18th. Oh yeah, because Hampton picked the... Why the March 18th? Stuff. Because that's the perfect time to have a party. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wish I could record all of their questions and conversations because it's so cute. Funny. Oh, I love them. And of course, that's when she. That's when you wanted to wake up. Yeah, did you hear me? Did you hear me cleaning? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, I could just eat you up. <laughs> oh, I just love your little laugh. Piano teacher's literally pulling into the neighborhood. This one is up, I thought. Maybe. So she's up till 2. She's been waking up at 1.30, so this is good. But I thought maybe she might sleep till 2.30. Maybe, but that didn't happen. But Hanson is still snoozing. He is catching up on the sleep that he was missing. Ah. She wanted to say hi. I turned the camera off and she got mad. Say hello. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? She scratched herself. I know. Who is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Here's some of the songs that the kids are learning this week on the piano. I'm making copies because we just got one piano book and then I'll just make copies for them. But this is Happy Birthday. We've got Camp Town Races and then Jingle Bells. Yay! It's a little early for Christmas songs, but hey, I'm all for a Christmas song. to her. Oh my god, can you just picture the boys playing happy birthday to Hanson and Magnolia on their birthdays from the piano? I think I would cry. 
Good morning, Noli. Oh, I love her smile every time she sees the camera. You want to give yourself kisses? Yeah. I'm at home with Noli right now. I just got home. It's actually afternoon, but uh, I was out all morning. I was at the restaurant. It's almost there. Final inspections. Very soon, we're getting there. But um, I got home. I got the baby, and Karen took all the bo all four boys out to the park and also tennis lessons. And uh, she's been sending me little clips. It's so cute. So you guys probably know Yasmin. Her friend is a tennis coach. She's an amazing player as well. But she coaches kids and I got her, well we have the opportunity to hire her as the kids' coach. And so hopefully the kids in like two or three years get really into it and they love it and then we can, we can rally and have fun. Cause I love tennis. It's like my favorite thing in the world besides, besides them. But yeah. They're at tennis lessons right now. I usually go with them, but I'm here with the baby. I was out all morning. I need to be home inside. It looks crazy out there. It looks wild. It looks like it's about to storm. I hate playing tennis in the wind, but the kids will learn. Where are you going? You wanna play? Um, I'm holding baby girl. Okay. The story of my life right here. Huh? Oh, you want me to sit on the couch? Ew. It's, it's called an apple. <laughs> you do. <gasps> you got your binoculars? <laughs> you always looked at them like that. Yeah, look the other way. You gotta flip them. Please. Okay. Other way. <laughs> other way. <laughs> You're so cute, kid. She's so tired. We just came from a car ride. Please. After. It's raining right now, but after. Oh, my God. I told you to pick it up. Thanks. <laughs> that was suspicious. <laughs> that was a little awkward. Uh, uh, there we go. go. 